Today we're going to show you how to clean your carburetor on any gasoline-powered Westinghouse generator. Keep in mind whatever model of carburetor you have, the same steps can be followed to achieve a clean functioning unit. Step 1. Start with removing the idle jet. Be sure to mark the throttle screw before removing. Be sure your carburetor is drained before taking apart. Be careful while removing the throttle jet. Step 2. Using a tip cleaner, clean the inside of the idle jet screw. Make sure the needle can bypass the jet hole completely. Step 3. Reassemble the idle jet back to its original formation. Step 4. To remove the bowl, first we need to remove the fuel solenoid. Be mindful not to loose the o-ring. Inspect the o-ring for damage and replace if needed. Make sure the solenoid functions properly and can actuate. Step 5. Remove retainer bolt and inspect its o-ring. Inspect it for damage and replace if needed. Use tip cleaner to clean retainer bolt. Step 6. Remove the bowl and be mindful of the large o-ring that seals the bowl. Inspect the o-ring for damage and replace if needed. Inspect the bowl for sediment and ensure it's clean. Step 7. Remove the float needle. Inspect the float and needle for damage and cleanliness. Replace if needed. Inspect gasoline inlet for blockage and debris. Use tip clean and spray with carb cleaner if needed for a clear pathway. Step 8. Carefully remove main jet and distribution jet. Inspect both parts for debris and blockage. Step 9. Using a tip cleaner pass through all of the ports for both the main jet and distribution jet to remove any debris. Step 10. Check air intakes and clean with compressed air or carb cleaner. Reassemble carburetor. Remember that even if your carburetor is different than the one featured in this video, you can still use the same steps to clean your specific unit at home.